it's me again, Lisa Ayam Texas, at my YouTube channel. So, and this vlog is about K1 visa applicant. So, but before I go further, allow me to say thank you for those supporting me on the, on the YouTube, on the YT world, on the YouTube world. Uh, especially to my mentor. I say mentor because she tells me everything, what is good, what is bad for those time that I need to know. Maybe I'll tell my, I really appreciated you, girl. Thank you so much for being there for me, teaching me the good and the side of bad for being a YouTuber. Even if I'm hard-headed, but I learned a lot from you. From my Team America. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciated you guys. You know who you are. And then my blogger world. Thank you. My team is Daan, and even though I left already, the team is Daan. But I tell my friend, let's go. Let's go our channel, grow, think positive, face all the trials for those in the YouTube world. Okay, now let's talk about the K1 visa. So this is the common question that I know and I learned about k1 visa applicant so let us start now what is k1 visa the k1 visa is a visa that up and applied for here or his fiance to come in here in the u.s so that's the real and number two who applicable to the k1 visa it's applicable for those who are free to get married within 90 days and then number three how to start filing k1 visa or the fiance visa after you meet in person you right in there you can you can start filing visa do not wait too long much better you can start when you meet in person already and you know each other that your your relation is real so you can start it and then number four is it true that needs two years in relationship as the UECIS required for us no no and not only me a lot of applicants do the same like us all you need to do is you have to prove that your relationship is real or bona fide number five how to prove that your relationship is bonified okay this is important guys first when you when you meet in person make it sure that you have proof a picture with your family especially the family that's really important the family second the plane ticket third the hotel accommodation fourth the restaurant five the receipts when your fiance or your petitioner sending you money just prove that he support or she support you when you are having a relation then six like us in our application 
we express our emotion or our feeling through letters, not intent letter that we have. It's not about the intent letter. It's about letter. Prove that our relation or our, our feelings will be the same. And, and we decide to be together when we get her in the U.S. That's, that's, my, that's my option because we do it already. Okay, number six. Who is the responsible to file or to fill up the K-1 visa or the fiancé or the one I want to name if Okay, the responsible to fill up the application of I want to name if form is the lawyer. If your fiancé is having a good financial let him the lawyer but if your fiance is not enough for their for financial status let him do or let your petitioner do and anyway the fiance or the 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 beneficiary can do it if you are free but you need to do is to know about everything about your petitioner that's the really important okay number seven is it true about the age gap uh, I see it might be it might be it's because I just let you know about my my uh, there's a consequences about the age gap if your age is 17 and your fiance or your petitioner is 70 years old how many years gap you have it looks like a daughter of your fiance right so it's not uh, possible your soul was go going the interview for you the console who interview for you they don't agree about your relation because you're too young or about 17 years old they need a parents consent for this time and then but if your age already is 25 and your fiance is 40 so go it's it's the, it doesn't matter number eight the number eight what is the fastest process the key one or the disposal visa i gave you an option this is not the fastest we are not talking about the fastest okay we, we just talk first for the k1 K visa before covid I was one of them. We filed in April and we are kids ready in October. So how many months only? And then that's before pandemic, right? And then at this time of pandemic, it takes a lot of time because the U.S. CIE, the k one they are not allowed, the k one visa are not allowed to come in the U.S., to the U.S. So, you have just to wait. If you're already there, filing your k one visa, you just wait. And then, it's the same side in the k one visa, okay? In the same side of k one visa, after you get her in the U.S., You have the process for the next step after you get married. You have still, that's, the one visas is a long, long process. After you get married here, you still go keep going to process your adjustment of status. Which is the disposal visa after you get married, 
your your husband can file your petition to coming here but it takes two years to come here but when you get her but when you get her notice guys but when you get her you have already your documents going to 10 years mostly now it's 10 years so because some of, of the of the disposal visa is through for two years they're they're two years in their process so they give you a 10 years card uh, so not like in the k1 visa but i give you an idea also when you are planning at this time of covid at this time we are in pandemic and you are planning to come here using the key one the using the spousal visa and your fiance or your petitioner going to the, the to the to your country just to get married with you it takes a long time again you you wait for a long time again so if you meet already you can you can you can process you have to use your common sense which is you like you if you wanted to be with your fiance you you can you can use your k1 visa but if you are wanted to come here and not no more no more hassle use a disposal visa that's the easy way and then number nine question is it okay to file the k1 visa or the fiancé visa while your annulment is ongoing my answer is no you need uh before you file just make sure the documents for annulment or the divorce is already with on your hands because that documents is needed on filing for the k1 visa so they can show you that you are free to come in here okay that's the really important guys it's really really important and then number 10 is about the documents the 10th question is about the birth certificate if you have any problem of your birth certificate please just make sure your birth certificate and all of your documents is already cleared before you filed if your birth certificate is already blurry from the PC is blurred just like me I sent also the LCR during our initial submission for the K1 visa no more hassle about my birth certificate because I have already a LCR so just make sure that you have a supporting documents like LCR or the baptismal but, but me I was using the LCR okay that's all the 10 common question that's before you filed this common question is before you filed okay remember before you filed thank you so much guys hope you like my video for the k1 visa don't forget to subscribe comment leave the comment i need your comments on to know about everything you are wanted to know about the k1 visa so thank you so much bye bye